Hi everyone, I'm Axel and welcome to the new video. So today we're going to talk about what's happening in Tarkov and what we should be expecting and how to make money during the current events. First of all, the current event of uh, dynamic loot spawns, which decreased the loots everywhere as far as I understood, no idea why, and BSG didn't mention that. Uh, however, Nikita said that this is not really a single event, this is more like a series of events, so we should be expecting something more. Um, I personally think BSG might introduce higher or lower flick emissions for all the items, not just keys, that's what they've done in the past. Traders may also be changing their prices as well as being completely out of stock for some items such as, I don't know, meds, ammo, uh, backpacks, so be prepared for that. Um, and yeah, the question still stands still. How do you make money during this event? And let me help you with that. There are plenty of ways of making money. You can keep running the original um, original loot points, Charlin rooms. Um, you can keep running interchange tax pounds. Uh, but I don't feel that this is as efficient and uh, as sustainable as it used to be. So let me give you a couple of ways which you can use um, to make money in a stable way uh, that also suits new players uh, and players with uh, less experience in Tarkov in general. So after playing this event for two days, I realized a uh, few patterns. First of all, loots are nerfed everywhere, every single map. However, you can still find good loots in the marked room, so reserve and customs are the good maps for that. Also, if you run and loot different crates, boxes, duffel bags, Jaeger stashes, those places still have a chance of uh, spawning high tier loot, so I do recommend doing that. Due to the fact that there are less chances of you finding high tier loot and you can still find middle and low tier loot, I recommend you running bigger backpacks to compensate for the loot with low, low pricing. And let me give you an example of how I would run a customs map and later on we're going to talk about which gear you can be using if you don't have much money. Depending on where I spawn on customs, I would typically go and loot the nearest uh, cache. Or if I spawn next to the old gas station, I would go check the, the giving tree, I would go inside the gas station, check for different loot spawns, maybe I'd be lucky and I'll find a backpack filled up with loots or a key or something. And then generally I would go to dorms to loot the marked room and a couple of safes as well as jackets. If you're running close to the crack house, it is definitely worth going in. There are a couple of crates in there, as well as foot spawns and a couple of jackets. After you search all of it, I promise you, you will find some decent loots. Generally, when I go into the dorms, I tend to loot marked room, sometimes jackets, and at the end, if I don't find good loots, I tend to loot two safes which are located on the second floor. Sadly, loots in the offline, and that's exactly where I'm recording this video, are way worse than in online, so it's very, it's very tough to compare the average money you can be making per raid. So don't hesitate to go into the marked room, you can definitely find good loots in there. 
Uh, as in one of the raids I played on the customs during the event, I managed to find a key tool which I sold for 900k and therefore it proves you, you can still find a good loose in there, so keep trying. Generally, after looting saves, I tend to go towards extraction. If you have no idea which gear to run, uh, let me give you a couple of options. So, first of all, we need to buy a backpack. If you want to save some money, I would suggest you can buy... Um, a Burkut backpack, it's only 23,000 and has... a bit of space. If you want to spend more, you should be going for... F5 backpack, it's 46k, but trust me, bringing a bigger backpack is definitely worth it. Now we need to get armor. And the best armor for us will be the red rig. It's 50k, it works as a rig and it also protects you. It's gonna protect you from scavs with pistols, with shitty ammo, um, and against the scavs with uh, shotguns. You can also buy your favorite headset. And now we need to choose a gun. I would suggest uh, those two options. So first of all, you can buy SKS. It's twenty-two thousand, and then you can either use you can either use PS ammo, which is very cheap, or if you have uh, unlocked the flea market, you can buy some BP ammo. some meds and you're ready to go second option would be you running a shotty which you can buy from Jaeger you can be going for pump action shotgun but my advice would be actually buying an automatic one and changing the mag from a small one to a larger one then we need to select bullets for the shotgun I would say there are two options you either go with um, 8.5 Magnum Buckshot. With this bullet, you can uh, two tap PMCs in the legs. Doesn't matter how geared you are. If you shoot them with the same leg twice, they're gonna die. And the bullet is only 53 rubles. The other option is this AP Slug. It's the bullet with highest penetration, and it can one tap a level four armor, uh, and you can kill a guy wearing a killer killer armor and a helmet in like three four shots. So this is a decent choice as well. And you're ready to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you realize that in order to make money, you need to focus on running stashes and marked rooms with bigger backpacks. Uh, and yeah, have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye. What a wonderful event. Do me a favor, fuck off outside, get a big deep breath of fresh air. Piss off, yeah. go on, outside, outside. Hey, look at me, fuck off. What a fucking muppet.